doctors who face several hurdles of no proper equipment and no proper protection deserve our gratitude. But what they are receiving instead is hate. During this time of pandemic, when there are mortalities all over the world, Indian doctors are facing the challenge to fight not against the disease, but also for, for the assaults from their neighbors, from the patients and even their attendants, and even the dead bodies of the doctors are mutilated within the country. I don't understand what kind of society we are serving as a whole. All I request is please do not attack, abuse or humiliate the healthcare officials and all other forces who are helping to fight out from these hard times. I'm not sure the nation will forgive him ever for this one. Now let's get back to the topic of this video which is about to discuss the three significant terms people have came across recently. The first is the herd immunity, the other is the lockdown and the third is the second wave. First let's begin with the concept of the herd immunity. So it is immunizing the large number of people in any community that can effectively stop the transmission of the pathogen. So uh, there, the chain of the transmission can be broken actually. But the question arises that how much of the portion of this community is required to be immunized. Uh, so to understand that you need to know something what is called as R0. R0 is an epidemiological coefficient which means that if any person in community is infected then how many people he can transmit that disease to. Talking of SARS-CoV-2, its values between 2 to 3 that depends on its area, geographical distribution and other uh, various factors. And now we put this value of R0 into the equation of the herd immunity index that is R0 minus 1 divided by R0 and then applying the basic maths uh, we get the value of 1 by 2 when R0 is 2 and 2 by 3 when R0 is 3. In simple terms if I say that 50% to 67% of the country's or any community's population must be immunized to stop the transmission within the community itself. So when I talk of the immunity, I mean by people carrying the antibodies in their blood. And these antibodies are the proteins actually. These are produced by our own immune system of the body to stop the activity of the pathogen. So to obtain this antibody, there are two ways. Either uh, we provide people with vaccine but as per now and nowhere in the world the vaccine is ready to be used and it is expected that it will take four to five months more for the vaccine to develop to develop in any part of the world the other way is we let the people to be infected yes we let the people to be infected by themselves and let their bodies naturally produce the antibodies but you should also know that about 14% of the people uh, need the oxygen, the high flow oxygen and the 4% of the people, the infected people need the invasive ventilation. And now you yourself can calculate the 14% of the 50% of the Indian population. And for obvious reasons, just like our uh, medical facilities are not adequate, our country cannot afford to do so. And here comes the role of what we call the lockdowns. Lockdowns are just making the people to stay at homes and follow the practices like social distancing which help to uh, slow down the rate of transmission. So uh, lockdowns are actually the pause buttons of this disaster. It's not a cure, it's not a way out, it's just a pause button where we can stop or we can slow down the transmission. The transmission must be enough slow that the, the health department can cope up at the same rate it so that they can achieve the herd immunity. Now if this lockdown is lifted before then there will be people who will be carrier or infected during this lockdown. Just uh, just imagine if there uh, if someone gets infected just two to three days before the lockdown is lifted. Then these people will move out of their houses and they will get into the society and infect lots and lots of people out there. So this scenario is known as the second wave. This second wave situation will be worse form of it. And all efforts till now what we have done as a community, this all will get to zero. And even now if you see the reports from the China what we are getting, it's, uh, it is facing this problem of the scenario of the second wave. 
so this lockdown must be there until people become either vaccinated or they acquire the herd immunity and both will take a very long time but there are more strategic ways to deal with it this is what countries like sweden uk or germany they are doing they have enormously increased the testing uh, for the presence of the antibodies uh, in the blood of the citizens against the sars cov 2 and these people who have acquired these immunity or these antibodies they are provide the certificates so these certified people they can easily go around uh, around the city and they can do their normal tasks back to their jobs so that things get back to normal and the situation returns to normalcy the other way to deal with the sars cov 2 by then is using the prophylactic medicines like hydroxychloroquine which is itself a topic of debate over the mechanism of action or its political aspects internationally hydroxychloroquine is a contraindicated in a patient with the heart disease and it as it causes the afibrillations and patients with other comorbidities and other medicines are being used like the vitamin c vitamin d zinc or the ivermectin which can stop the proliferation of the sars cov 2 in the in vitro condition for the prophylactic aspect itself i will make a separate video if you want so you can tap on the bell icon and subscribe so that you don't miss that video to conclude i would like to state what the angela merkel the vice chancellor of germany quoted and she quoted it right and said that we are not living in the final phase of crisis we are still at its beginning we still have to live with it and for a large period of time for now i would like to request you that please stay at your homes follow the social distancing and the basic basic etiquettes of maintaining the hygiene around you and also to avoid the fake and the misleading information that is being circulated on the internet so we'll keep you updated by then take care and stay home stay connected